So Upwork supports. When you have a problem with your Upwork account or with a transaction on Upwork, who do you reach out to? Are there ways to reach out to Upwork and um, communicate your plight to them? That is what we'll be considering in today's video. How effective is it reaching out to Upwork? I'll be talking about all that in this video very briefly. So I see a lot of people come to ask me a lot of questions here on YouTube and I appreciate them because, you know, I always love when people comment on my videos. Yes, I do love that. And by the few appreciation comments I get, I know like you guys appreciate what I'm doing here, but please support by liking, support by commenting. So the first way that was the most valuable way, that was the most efficient way I contact Upwork before now is sending them an email. Upwork add an email. Note that I used the word was, and now I said Upwork add an email, not as an email. There's this email, freelancersuccess at upwork.com. This email address, if you are a top-rated freelancer or you're a top-rated plus or expert-rated freelancer, you can, if you have any issues with your Upwork account, with your Upwork transaction, you can send an email to this email and you will get response typically within 24 hours. Yes, it has been like that for years. Until recently that Upwork woke up one morning and scrapped that and now freelancer success email is not working again. Now, like other ways to contact Upwork. Yes, you can chat them up. You can go to support.upwork.com you need to log in again, and then um, you would find the option at the bottom right corner. You find the option to chat them up live. You can chat up work live, but in the real sense, you are not chatting a real human. The last time I was scammed on Upwork, whereby I worked on a project, and it's I'm supposed to be paid in the region of eight hundred dollars. It's an hourly rate project. I fulfilled all the hourly rates protection criteria, but Upwork still sent me a generic email that I did not. And um, it is their company. They can do as they please. I was trying to reach out to customer support, but it's almost impossible to reach out to Upwork customer support. They have phone numbers. They have email addresses, even as we speak. But the email address they have now is for press, Maybe like when you have a use with press, it's not for customer, it's not for client freelancers complain. And I respect that, so I don't send an email to that. You have the option of chatting a bot, chatting with a robot, chatting with an AI. And the amazing thing is that the AI is somewhat dumb. <laughs> yes, like it can actually keep you in a loop where it asks you, okay, where it asks you what is your problem. You tell the AI, my problem is A, B, C. The AI responds, okay, do this. And when you do that action that the AI asks you to do and you still have the same problem, then you come back to tell the AI that, oh, I have taken the action you asked me to take and I still have the same problem. The, action, the AI will say, okay, let's start this conversation again, something like that. And they run you through that same process. So you end up being in a loop and that loop is just continuous until you get frustrated and then you have to just leave and accept your fate. There's another method to reach out to Upwork actually, to tag them. There's, there's the Upwork normal Twitter account, then there's the Upwork help Twitter account. That used to be very helpful before, but in recent time, if you tag them, you just tag them. They are not as responsive as they used to be. I don't know what is happening in Upwork. Um, there's been rumors of a lot of layoffs in Upwork, but I don't have any concrete evidence to that, or I've not seen that in any reliable source, so I won't trust that. But somehow, like, some of the things Upwork is doing is actually showing that that could be true. So reaching out to Upwork via Twitter, except maybe you are a very big influencer, maybe they would respond to you or you are lucky. Another way you can reach out to Upwork is tagging them on LinkedIn, yes, they are a bit responsive on LinkedIn. Maybe when you are celebrating, oh, I just hit my $100,000 milestone on Upwork, you will see Upwork account comment on your LinkedIn post congratulating you, especially when that post is getting a lot of traction from other people. 
But when you channel your complaint, you might not get that same attention from that same account. I don't think they are trying their best, but they need to put in more effort to ensure that they are accessible by freelancers and clients. Upwork is making themselves less accessible than they used to be. And I don't know why they are doing that. Maybe Upwork needs to reduce their cost of running so they can make profit, which is reasonable, sort of. But I don't exactly know what's going on with Upwork. I just know me as a freelancer, I'm not having the best of time with Upwork right now. Let me know what you feel about this in the comment section.